Hello and welcome back to a very special episode of Cuisine Culture. Why special? Because I'm inviting you to cook with me in my second home. Good morning, Michael. Oh. How are you? Kitchen Hello? door is next door. Um, it's no. not here. <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you. Keep it well. Good. Shall we go in? Shall we go in? Please come in. Thanks. Nice to see you. So here we are in with general manager Frederick Poulet, but also my best friend with many, many stories together. How's things? Good, good. Nice to see you. Um, it's been a little while, but uh, very pleased to see you. Michael, um, it's a very good friend of mine. We, we know each other since 2007. Um, I came back at the World Side in f when I was uh, 26, uh, in 2006 actually. And then, then Michael arrived afterwards and then quickly we uh, you become best, yeah, best friend, was, actually. There was a magic, not magic, but it was very special because he was at the front, I was in the kitchen, and when he wanted something a little bit special without going through the boss, he would come on the side through the window and say, uh, Michael, can you just give me this quickly? And uh, yeah, he can definitely sell things to everyone, <laughs> bad or good, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he's general manager, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, in, ter in terms of, uh, yeah, we had some very good trip. Uh, and been working here at the World Side Inn, we all understood one thing is, is we don't teach people just to work. We, we give them the method no way, yeah. of life, you know. If you do, if, you, if you're happy to peel potato or peel carrot and you're proud of it, and if my staff is happy to clean the windows, clean the toilet, and they're proud of it, then suddenly everything they will do in life, they should be proud of. And that's what we all learn at the water side in with the family. Yeah, it's the rule way really of yeah. doing things. From the little thing and to everything. If you and I thing. think we are one of the two, one of the two young person at the moment who we try to project what we learn yeah. here. But if you speak to some fr friends of Mr. Roux, uh, Chef Alain, uh, they will all tell you a similar scenarios. It's not what you do, it's how you're doing it. I think that's, that's a good message, I think. We're strict in what we're doing, but we still have, you know, we do it with, with a smile because we want to do it, we're happy to do it. And when I see Michael today, um, which doing his own little thing, with his uh, um, uh, cooking lesson, uh, his uh, videos, uh, I think it's, it's, it's nice to see that, you know, a friend from the family is coming back here and he's going to cook later on with Chef Alain. I think, yeah, well done, you know, and I'm really pleased to see uh, Michael. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a friend who's changing his chapter to a different chapter, but we, we are still connected indirectly, and, mm -hmm. and that's what it's is. This important. will never change, I think. So the dessert we're doing, Michael, together is a rhubarb souffle with a hint of raspberry. So here we have uh, the rhubarb. Obviously, uh, to make the souffle, we need egg white, caster sugar, a hint of vanilla sugar just to give a little flavor extra, and the fresh raspberries. So the rhubarb is really uh, from Yorkshire. It's uh, Still what I would call a young rhubarb. We're on the end of the season of the rhubarb because the season is more, uh, for the forced rhubarb, it's more the end of winter, mm -hmm. beginning of spring. spring. So between January and March, that's the best time for the forced rhubarb. Otherwise, uh, grown uh, outside uh, to the light, you can have some all year round. But uh, I prefer small, young, it's tender, it's not a, as much fiber and it's got a, enough sweetness into okay. it by still keeping that acidity. So 
So the rule bump, that's the first part, is for the power, for the basically the main uh, ingredient for the souffle. So we, we don't really have to peel it, but it's uh, not that small. Just want to make sure it's not going to be too many. Uh, and that's it. You can maybe cut it, Michael. Michel. See, that piece is a bit larger and it should be peeled. Like this. So, depending on the rhubarb you have, you might not even have to peel it like that. Um, and if it's uh, larger, maybe a older rhubarb, in that case you, you would actually use a peeler I see. And, and peel it like, like you would peel a carrot. But that one is quite young still. That's perfect, that's what I like. It's going to have some nice colours and it's going to have texture to it. Now we'll put the sugar and the water. And we're going to bring it to the boil. That's for the pulp. Right, pulp. And then now here we're going to start to prepare the first, or the, not the first part, but basically the garnish for the sauce. Is this going to go inside the souffle? Or? N well, yes. After. At, at the last minute, when we're all at the table, or the customers at the table, and ready to eat. So here we're doing the syrup, water, sugar, and we're going to bring that to the boil. Now this rhubarb, again, I'm going to peel it slightly if needed. And I'm going to cut it in uh, nice little pieces. And that's going to be left. The pieces are going to be left uh, whole. And that's going to give the texture in the sauce when you're going to eat the souffle. And that's, uh, the nice part of it as well. You want to have a little bite? Yes, so depending on your rhubarb you really have to check because it could take like a minute, like it could take up to you know four or five minutes. Mm. This is still quite young rhubarb, it's quite tender. I think a, a minute cooking will be fine. Rhubarb inside. Another 30 seconds, a minute, almost. That's going to be left in pieces for the sauce. So we're going to drain that in the calendar. And uh, you can put uh, the pieces, actually you can put them back in this pan here. That's it. So we can leave that on the side. We don't want to cook it anymore. So this leftover syrup, we're going to uh, cook this rhubarb, which is going to be basically the sauce. So many different ways to prepare the rhubarb. Is this for flavor also? For flavor <coughs> and texture. Find what's difficult with souffle is to get find the right balance. So it's fluffy, you rise properly, but you don't lose uh, any flavor. Exactly. So this rhubarb goes in the past syrup and we're going to cook that off and blend it to make the sauce as a accompagnement for the souffle. In the sauce, a generous pinch, a couple of pinch of vanilla sugar. So that's the rhubarb now is cooked for a good five minutes with the sugar and water. So that was the feu de pulp, uh, the base of the souffle mix. So now that's cooked, you can put it in this and we're going to blend it just to make sure it's a smooth puree. You see that texture? Mm -hmm. It's like a, a liquid puree, nice and smooth.
and it's not too liquid, not too thick. No. So you, when you have a souffle, you have a base, and then you add the egg white, the sugar, but no creme pâtissière for this one. No, we want to keep that one. It's going to hold really only with the rhubarb. We want because we, as you know, we like our souffle to be like a, a, a warm cloud. So this we're going to put it in the casserole. So the rhubarb for the sauce, we've kept the syrup that we used for the poaching of those diced. We're going to just add a bit of sugar into the syrup with the rhubarb and we're going to cook that for a good five to eight minutes. So that will be uh, pressed through a sieve for the sauce. So now the, the sauce, the rhubarb, is gone all cooked mashy, mm -hmm. and it's uh, cooked for about a good five minutes. And that's ready to be passed. So as uh, we've got the diced rhubarb, we want to leave those whole pieces for the texture. So we're going to pass that through the sieve. You want to help me, Michael? Thank you. And I'm going to... Uh, it's a little bit more thicker also with the sugar. It's yes. like a syrupy yeah. texture now. That's the only thing with rhubarb is you normally always need a fair amount of sugar because otherwise the sourness and the acidity of the rhubarb will make it that you need to cut with the sugar. Otherwise it's not as uh, enjoyable. So we press and try to pass as much as we can. Now that's basically only fibers left. And we're going to scrape what's left underneath. By the time it's all mixed up, it's going to give a nice sauce. Nice thick sauce, yes. By the time we warm it up, because that needs to be warmed up, when we want to serve it, it will uh, thicken up a, a bit more even. So we're going to whisk the egg whites. Yeah, let's go. Egg whites, so in the bowl. And we're going to whisk by hand because it's the best way. Right. Uh, a small quantity, yeah. we don't need the machine. My, my, my maître d'apprentissage, uh, there was no machine. Everything had to be done by hand. So you know how to do, I yes. taught you. So you can whisk the egg whites. <laughs> yeah. Is that uh, big it's enough, that uh, whisk? It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I've got better size. And I will do it. I will do it. Thank you. You might have to help me. Okay. So we want them soft peak, huh? not too much, but soft peak. When they're soft peak, just about soft peak, we'll add the cast to sugar, just to firm them up and to finish them. Yeah. Now we're going to add the sugar. To, exactly. to fold. So that's perfect. Now we need to move and just make sure the pulp is warm. Yeah. So we're going to add a bit of uh, egg whites to it. We're going to add the raspberry, but we're going to crush them a little bit. And that's going in the rest of the egg whites. So we just ease a bit the mixture with the whisk. Now we're going to finish with the spatula. Mm -hmm. 
the maize. And finish gently. Why are you stirring gently so the egg whites? Yeah, we, we don't want the egg white to fall and to hold the, the texture of the souffle. And not overwork it. So as soon as the egg whites are mixed with the pulp, that's fine. That's what we want. That's it. So now we're going to fill up the molds. So those molds have been brushed with soft butter and lined with castor sugar. No excess, just tapped so there's no excess sugar. So you see we should have just about four souffle. If you had whisked the egg white, I'm sure we would have had five. <laughs> Souffle after we're going to smooth them. Yeah. What we can do is, if we see there's a bit of air on the side, a little gap, we can tap it a little bit. But it's not always necessary, and uh, we shouldn't do that too hard on the table. Mm. Otherwise, it defeats the object and we basically lose the air of the egg whites. And after, we put it about one centimeter deep, not more, it's not no needed, and we go around. And that will release and help the souffle to rise out of the mold. So we're going to place that on the pastry tray and we're going to bake that in the oven about 180 degrees Celsius for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay. That's what I mean about every single step. Everything is very precise. Yeah. That's it. That's ready to go in the oven. Halfway through cooking, you see they started to lift. We're going to cook them, turn them around. So you don't have to, but I would say at home in a small oven like that, it's better to turn them halfway through. And even in our pastry here with the professional ovens, I think we should. But uh, it's better to be quick anyway. If you open the oven, be very quick to turn them around, close the door. Is that for the heat? Is just in case the heat is different? Just yes, because uh, so, some of them, especially at home, the heat will go straight away and it will take too long to get back to the right temperature. And souffle are fragile, especially the ones we do. Look at this, beautiful. And you can see the piece of raspberry inside. So if you want to put the sauce, Michael, in the sauce, but please. Chef. Chef the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pas au milieu. Sur le côté. côté. Sur le côté. Oui. Voilà. La petite note à côté. Ici. So that's the souffle done. We serve it and at the table we pour the sauce. The waiter will just open up the souffle and pour a bit of sauce. Voilà. That's it. There we are. The rhubarb souffle with a hint of raspberry. Michael, it's been a pleasure to have you back home Thank at you, the Water chef. Side Inn for today. Pleasure was mine. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the recipe and uh, I hope you enjoyed today uh, with us and with Chef Alain and the recipe we've, we've uh, shown you. For me it was a very special day being back here, brought back so many memories. So thank you for taking the time and to welcome me uh, like, uh, yeah, like you said, back in the family. Thank Definitely. you very much. Anytime and you know, for our viewers, 
happy cooking, enjoy the recipes. If you enjoyed today's recipe, please like and subscribe to my channel to discover more interesting recipes.